your question and get you get the seat. Good morning, everybody. So That's Antoine That's Hawkins. Are you in up next on WGVE? Welcome back to the new number one morning show in Northwest Indiana. News, sports, education, and entertainment. Wake up, GI, with Jeffrey Smith. Brought to you by the Geary Community Schools Corporation. All right, everybody, we are back. And once again, it's a beautiful Monday. It's the first Monday of fall, of course, and it is the 25th of September, 2023. This is Wake Up GI with Jeffrey Smith. As we've been talking about this morning, our good friends from across the way are in studio right now. I'm talking about Indiana University Northwest. And, of course, they always have some wonderful stuff coming in. We appreciate them checking in with us to let us keep us in the know. So we look like we're smart. So with that, we have uh, one of our guys who always comes across the way and sits in with this. I always get his titles wrong, so I'm going to let him introduce himself because he's just so wonderful. Go ahead and uh, give us uh, your, your name and your title. Good morning, Gary. My name is Antoine Hawkins. I'm an admissions counselor at Indiana University Northwest and also the coordinator for our group scholars program on campus. See, I knew you had multiple things going on. That's why I don't like to butcher people's titles out here, which I tend to do. But... Uh, of course, we thank you for taking time out of your day to come on. You're here to talk about the College Go Week, which is actually, I guess it kicks off It kicks off yesterday, correct? And it's extending the entire week. Tell us a little bit about it. Absolutely. So College Go Week is uh, not just something IU Northwest is part of, but the state of Indiana um, as a collective. Um, yeah. Here in, in Gary, we make sure that we do a lot of activities for our region. Uh, so we have a whole week of activities planned that's starting actually today on Monday. Okay. That's going to stretch through Friday. So you can tell my days run together. I thought to yesterday it was the 25th. But anyway, <laughs> so it kicks off today. Uh, it is, uh, today is actually a Zoom event, correct? It's, uh, I see it's 6 p.m. is Understanding College Calls. Kind of get into that without, you know, giving everything away. Yeah, absolutely. So we want to make sure that we include parents because we know parents um, also need this information to make sure that they help guide their uh, students in the right direction when it comes to selecting the perfect college for them. Right. Um, so the event tonight is Understanding College Calls. So there's been a lot of debates and conversations going on about uh, the cost of college and student aid and uh, the student loan debt and right, of that right. nature. Uh, but we got some good news. Um, oh. There are some exceptions and there are some changes that's going on with the federal government mm -hmm. by way of financial aid. Right. Um, so those individuals who probably didn't qualify before do qualify now. Yeah. Um, the increases um, have been made in regards to the amount of money students can receive. Right. So that's just a little bit. I don't want to go too deep into it because I'm not a financial expert, but we will have our financial expert, the director of financial aid at IU Northwest, Gina Perdo. She's going to actually be on the Zoom call this evening. Yeah. So parents, make sure sure you uh, chime in um, at 6 p.m. Um, this evening. It's going to be about a 45 minute. We're not going to take up your whole evening, but right. we want to make sure that you understand the true cost of college and understand the new uh, change that's going on with the FAFSA. Now, I think I asked you this before, but I kind of, you know, we, we have conversations about this on the show, and I try to, whenever I'm around young people, try to stress the importance of kind of having that well-rounded resume. I mean, service organizations and kind of doing things in your community and community-oriented events really weigh well in college and their admissions. And so is this all, is this kind of factor in? And, and I don't want to get too political about it, but as we kind of now know that universities are kind of really getting into diversity and all that kind of thing, it seems to me that people from certain demographics who can kind of have a little extra something going on as it relates to service and things like that could also be attractive to these uh, to these admissions uh, groups and, and some of these scholarships. Absolutely. Anything that you can do that's going to separate you from the pack is going to be beneficial yeah. when it comes to college admissions. Yeah. Um, so when you're writing those essays, you want to make sure you include all those things. You know, that one Saturday your mom made you go to the church and help <laughs> right. bring up the leads. You yeah. know, put that on your application. Yeah. You know, that's, that's work that you've done, that's volunteer work that you've done that's going to help you uh, kind of sell yourself to the right, university right. Your choice. Yes, absolutely. Right, absolutely. And, of course, let's get into tomorrow. This is, uh, I wish our girl was here, uh, Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod, because uh, this is her her wheelhouse right here, Urban League Scholarship Fair. It's a very, I, I've been to a couple of these things in the past, and they're very well attended. And you can get signed or get a scholarship and get admitted on the spot. On the spot. Yeah. On the spot. So, um, this will be the second year that IU Northwest has hosted this event. Um, it's a partnership that we have with the uh, Urban League of Northwest Indiana, um, an amazing organization. Um, there's going to be over 60 different colleges there. Um, there's going to be um, military staff there, so if you're interested in the services, 
we are inviting students to come with their transcripts. Yeah. The reason being is because we're doing admissions on the spot, not just IU Northwest, but the other universities as well will be there. Um, you also can get scholarships awarded on the spot. So this is an amazing opportunity yeah. for students. Uh, we usually have anywhere from 900 to 1,000 students come through there. Absolutely. Uh, they get shipped in uh, their, <laughs> from their buses. They come in <laughs> from the different schools. So it's an amazing opportunity. So if you don't attend any other fair students, make sure you attend this event. Um, it's going to be tomorrow at IU Northwest campus. It starts at 9 a.m. Your students should already know about it because yeah. The schools have been planning for this. Like I said, this goes on every year. Yeah. This is the second year that we've hosted it on our campus. Yeah, we had the Urban League on here maybe a couple weeks ago, and, and she was telling me that they have come, uh, you know, from as far as South Bend. Yes. And, uh, and, and just, to, you know, they hear about it. And so we want the people, obviously, here to take advantage of it in their, their own backyards. Absolutely. But uh, the word is out on this. Absolutely. So you're going to have, like I said, everything. Yeah. Know, different colleges. There's going to be HBCUs there. So if you have a child that's interested in going to an HBCU, Absolutely. they'll be there as well. Um, so it's just an amazing time for you to really have an opportunity to see, like I said, 60 plus colleges and universities right. that you probably wouldn't normally get an opportunity to go visit. They're going to be right here in your backyard in Gary. Let's get to uh, Wednesday, which is uh, you all's wheelhouse. Apply to IU Northwest Day. Now, kind of explain what that's about. Absolutely. So, I would be kicking it off with that on Monday, but you know, you all do the way do things the way you want to. We do. want to give them an opportunity to warm up. Warm up. So. On Wednesday is our official day to apply to IU. So you can go to iun.edu slash apply. Apply right. for free. There is no application free uh, fee if you go to that site and apply. Um, students who apply uh, will have an opportunity to also be entered into a drawing. So nice. seniors, listen up. If you apply to IU Northwest and you attend two other events, register and attend two other events this week, you'll be put into a drawing automatically to win a $1,000 scholarship. Nice. Okay? So once again, you have an opportunity to win a $1,000 scholarship. Okay, all you have to do is apply to IU Northwest and attend two other events. That's it. And you'll be entered into a drawing to win. We're not going to be looking at your GPA. We're not going to be looking at all these other things. Of course, you have to be admitted to IU Northwest. Right. But it's an additional one-time $1,000 that you can win just by participating this week in College Girl Week. Now, I think that's uh, absolutely cool. And, you know, if I'm, a, if I'm a parent or guardian of a scholar right now, I'm getting on their you-know-whats to make sure they absolutely. do that. because. All you have to do is go online, apply, and attend two events. That's it. And you can get a a $1,000 put into your kitty, uh, hopefully going towards uh, your education at IUN. Let's go to Thursday, and this is another Zoom event that's going to take place. But this is something important, and I'm, I'm not just saying this. I wish I had paid a little bit more attention to this when I went down. Because when I went to college, I, it was kind of, I went in the summer right after I graduated, and it was just kind of like, boom. I was right there. We had orientation on college, but I wish I had known a little bit more what to expect uh, when I first got on the campus because it was a little overwhelming at first. It really was, even though it was summer session. But uh, I, I wish I had sat down there and kind of paid attention or at least had a little College 101, the parent edition. Yes. So Thursday is another Zoom event. We did it that way because we want the parents to be involved. Right. This is College 101, parent edition. This is for those parents who this is their child's first time going through, or even if you have a child that's already in there, you just really don't understand the process. We're going to break down everything, college terminology, yeah. uh, student responsibility. We're going to talk about FERPA, which is very big because you get parents that say, hey, I'm paying a tuition. I want to know what their grades are. Sorry, we can't give them to you. Right. They're that's still out the form. Yeah. So things like I'm that. I'm an adult, Mom. Right. Things like that. We want parents to understand and know what's going on. What is considered full time for a student? Right. How many credits is that? What is a credit hour? Yeah. Like all of those questions you may have. Is it still over 12 credit hours if you're full time? 12 credit yeah. hours considered full time. Yeah. Yes. Which is going to affect your financial aid, which right. a lot of individuals don't understand. You drop below 12, you can lose some of your financial yeah. aid. Yeah. So, yeah. It's important that you know this information up front. So this parent edition on Thursday evening, um, it's going to be from 6 to 7 p.m. is an amazing opportunity for you to learn that information and ask whatever questions you may have in regards to college. No, and you know something else that, and you know, I found this out because my uh, wife is in the process where we were helping uh, a young lady that she used to teach who kind of has been out of school for a little bit, but she got her into a school over in Maryland. She's going, going to college. And during the whole process, and just even talking with some other scholars that we, we kind of work with, some parents don't even understand really what college is, is really about. You know, you might have a first-time child or scholar who's going there, 
And sometimes it's a little overwhelming because they don't exactly know how to navigate. And, you know, it, you don't want to kind of, I don't know if the word's embarrassed when you can't kind of be there for the scholar when they're trying to understand that or navigate where I'm going to live, how, what this dorm look like, how should I plan my classes. And so this is a useful resource, I believe, for both the scholar as well as their parent. Absolutely, absolutely. Parents, we want you to participate in this event. That's why we put Parent Edition on there. Yeah. But students, make sure you're there as well because it may be some things that you have questions about um, that you can get those questions answered as well. I like that. Now let's get to Friday. I got to know what this is about. Red Hawk Rush Day. What's that all about? Red Hawk Rush Day. This is the opportunity for any and every student and or parent who has never been on our campus come to our campus. Yeah. Um, from 9 to 1 p.m., you can come at any time in between there. Uh, we're going to have scavenger hunts. We're going to be doing tours. Um, you'll be able to apply that day as well. We're going to have some games and things. This is an opportunity for us to allow the community to come and see our campus. Come and see how beautiful the campus is. See what we have to offer. This is the perfect opportunity for you to come out and have some fun. Now, where can I get, uh, because I want people to know that obviously this is radio. We do have some people watching online, but uh, what, what's up with the gear? Because here you, you come in here rocking this. When did I even start doing all this? Oh, man, you need to come visit our bookstore. Yeah. We have amazing gear at our bookstore. He's um, rocking some coaches can, type gear, can, ladies and gentlemen. You can actually uh, do it online as well. You can shop online as well. Um, go to our website, iun.edu. Just type in bookstore. You can shop online. Uh, but, yes, definitely come. And another thing, for all sale. those individuals who come to our campus and sign up and do a tour, yeah. you'll get a 20% coupon off to the bookstore for one item. So come and do a tour, get your free coupon, get yeah. 20% off, and you can come rock a jacket like I have on right now. Yeah, I might have to go over there and start rocking it and just perpetrate. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't set foot on IUN. But, uh, I, no, nonetheless, it is a, that's a very nice jacket. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the College Go Week. This is a national event, as they say, but Indiana University does it big. And it starts today at 6 p.m. via Zoom, understanding college costs. And then, as you heard us talk about, tomorrow is going to be one of the big events around the region in particular. I would argue probably this part of the state, as the Urban League has their annual scholarship fair. It's their second year doing it and partnering with IUN, but we've uh, talked over the years, and we've attended a couple, and this is pretty big. Over 60 colleges, universities, and the military are going to be present. So you want to make sure your scholar, even if they've got a couple of their ducks in a row, just have them up. It doesn't hurt to go kick some tires on some other schools. And then on Wednesday, of course, it's apply to IUN Day, and uh, you heard um, you heard us talking about that. There's, there, there's opportunities for seniors to win a $1,000 scholarship. All you got to do is apply to IUN online and then go to a couple of events, and you can put your name in the hat to get some of that money. And then there's Thursday, of course, College 101, the parent edition, 6 to 7. That's another Zoom event for parents, presumably. But, of course, if you're some scholars who have some questions, it's probably a good opportunity for you to get those answered. And then it's Red Hawk Rush Day, 9 to 1, Hawthorne Hall, and you get a tour and everything that goes along with that. Absolutely, absolutely. You can get more information on our website at iun.edu slash events or iun.edu slash visits. Well, of course, you can always call the Office of Admissions, and we can help register you over the phone um, if you'd like to attend any of these events. Now, let, let me ask you about this while we've got you here, because, you know, obviously you have uh, some people that are thinking about going to college and things like that. What's student life like on IUN? I've always wondered that. I've had some classmates uh, that went to IUN, and, you know, obviously I never attended there. I went, you know, I took classes there when I was a senior in high school, but I never actually attended as a student. And it just seems like there's a there's a community there because I know people that have gone there, but you know from the outside looking in, you all don't have any dorms and things like that. So I've always envisioned it as somewhat of a commuter college. But from the people that go there, it is a very tight knit community. It really is. So kind of describe that. I've always wanted to, meant to ask you, but you're always going places when you get here. So yes, it is a commuter campus. We do not have the traditional dorms, right. but at the same time, we have over diff, uh, sixty different clubs and organizations yeah. on campus. So. Um, right now, our Black Student Union is really booming, doing a lot of things on campus. They just had a karaoke night uh, last Thursday. Oh, really? Where was uh, that held? Uh, in, inside campus in uh, Bloomington Auditorium. Okay. So, at the Berglund Auditorium, I'm sorry. So it was an opportunity for students to come out, sing karaoke, have a good time. Uh, they had snacks and things. Um, there's other events. So uh, we have College Welcome Week, our involved right. fair. 
that's where you get to see all the different um, clubs and organizations that's out there. Um, we have some Greeks on campus as well. Right. We're actually in the process of trying to get the entire D9 on campus. Oh. Um, so who's uh, not there? There's a lot going on. Uh, I guess it's easier to say who's there. Right now right. we have the AKAs there of on course. campus. Right. Um, SG Rose, they're, they're making a comeback. They, oh. they'll be the Sigma Gamma Rose. Sigma Gamma Rose. Yeah. They'll be the next ones coming. And then we're trying to get the guys out there. Okay. So, uh, we have we have a couple of brothers uh, who who are expressing interest, so it's just a matter of going through the process of getting everything. Are the campus through. there? They are there, but they're um, not there. But there. they're not there. There, so yeah. they have like a citywide campus where they have some students on campus. Right. Um, we're actually looking to restart all of them because at one point the entire D nine was on yeah. campus. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're looking to do is just um, get those chapters actually restarted. Even the Sigmas? Every last one. Oh, though. man. Every last one. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the Gina. I love, I love, I love all the Gina. We're just having a little fun. <laughs> and so, so, you know, as you know, when you all are out here, because you get a lot of people coming into the region for the college and for the experience and going out, you're number one, you're a great school. you got a lot of good majors, so I can understand why you're so attractive to people that might be from other parts of the state or even other states coming in. I'm just, you know, I, I just remember once again going down to visit the colleges that I end up going in, and you look around the surrounding communities, and so I'm just very curious about campus life. And so, from your observations, do students tend to kind of migrate towards Maryville? You know, those students who, who kind of decide that they're going to either get an apartment or share apartment here, or is it kind of like an individual thing, or do they really just kind of base camp on campus? It just kind of depends yeah. on what's going on. Um, yeah. Like I said, we try to have a lot of events and things right, on campus right. to keep students on campus. But, of course, once it's time for them to leave, yeah. you know, of course, they go home. Right. But going back to that whole piece about the college experience, um, you know, I always say all the time you have students who say that they want to go to Bloomington. But, right. Okay, let's say you go to Bloomington. And you get up and you get dressed, you go to class, you leave your class, you go back to your dorm room, you study, you go to bed, you wake up and you repeat that. Right. I mean, you're really not experiencing college. Right. The way you're going to do that is actually step out of your comfort zone, get involved on campus, meet individuals. Oh, okay. I thought There's you were going in another direction with that. I thought you were going in a complete other direction. <laughs> plenty of opportunities to uh, get involved uh, on campus at right, Iowa Northwest. Right, so. right, right. Well, I'm glad we, we did the PG version because when yes. you were talking about Bloomington, you were like, getting out, of your going, uh, getting out of your comfort zone. I'm like, okay, where are we going? here. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, as I said, a very good event. Once again, it's College Goal Week at Indiana University Northwest. Uh, starts off, kicks off today, goes all the way to Friday, kind of culminates in a Red hot Red Hawk rush day. Uh, any other things we need to know of what's going on at IUN? Yeah, absolutely. So um, coming up, we're going to have our fall open house, of course, going to be on October 21st. Uh, it's a Saturday. That's always a major event on our campus as well. It's an opportunity for us to open up our doors and let you see how beautiful the campus is. Yeah. We have. Um, so make sure you keep a lookout for that. We're going to be pushing that. Um, so you'll be getting that information as well. I'm sure I'll probably be back up here to discuss Absolutely, that you a will. little more. Um, and then we also have um, um, other events that's going on, on our campus. Like we're really growing our athletic department yeah. on campus. Yeah, what's going on over there with athletics? Because I've been kind of hearing little rumblings. What yeah. are y'all doing there? So one of the things is uh, we got a, a, a big donation. One of our donors um, donated a lot of money. So we were able to um, uh, do some work on our gymnasium. So we have a new sound oh. system coming in. Uh, Where is the gymnasium? Um, inside crazy. the Savannah Center. Okay. Inside right. the Savannah Center. Um, you'll see our gymnasium in there. So it, it looks different if you haven't been in there in a while. I haven't been in there. If you go in there, you'll see it looks a little different now uh, with some new branding um, opportunities. Okay. Um, our soccer team is really growing now. Um, this is something that's new to the campus. Right. Um, our men's and women's basketball, of course. We also have volleyball and some other. Where do they um, practice events. the soccer at? Uh, they practice over in Hammond. Okay. Um, over in the Hammond field. Yeah. Um, but we, we, we are growing in the athletics department because we know that that's a big um, area right. that will attract more students. Yes. You know, especially if you have athletes that they played all during high school and yeah. now they're looking for a school to play in. Right. They can come to IU Northwest. We're, we're growing that, that area as well. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that because don't let Purdue Northwest go out here and have all the fun. I know oh, no. you all are the smartest school, oh, no. but yeah. We, we don't miss that school, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. I mean, no, I'm glad to hear you doing that. Um, and as I said, we've been talking about the College Go Week. So, you know, for for parents out here that are getting this information or hearing it for the first time and are interested, is there anything 
uh, let's just talk about the scholarship fair, or any of these things that students need to kind of have. I mean, your transcripts, what do you, what, what do you need to get in a row, get your ducks in a row before you even think about going and applying to you all? So for the scholarship fair, we're just asking students to come with their transcripts. Um, right. That's actually coming from the Urban League. They have some other criteria as far as GPA requirements. You can find that information at the Urban League's website. Yeah. I'm um, get that information. Um, but the, all of that was sent out to the Now, what's the school. turnaround on transcripts now? I've, it's been years, obviously, since I've got one. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it varies from district to district, but can you typically get the same day, or does it? You, do you need to kind of call in advance and order it? Because I remember when I got my last transcript, it took like, like a day or two. Yeah. So yeah. with IU Northwest, we we prefer electronic transcripts. Oh, okay. We get those within 24 hours. Okay. So yeah. you so they go to you, or they, they go, go to directly to us. So when students put in the request, oh, they go straight from their high school directly to us. We usually get them within 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So once we have the transcript. We can get you in a completed application. We can get you a turnaround decision within seven to ten business days. Now, is there also, uh, I guess, in-state and out-of-state tuition variances? You know, I mean, did, uh, how does that work? So there is. So um, right now, um, of course, with uh, in-state residents, we are the lowest yeah. um, uh, four-year institution in the state of Indiana. Um, and then for out-of-state students, uh, we do have a discounted rate for those surrounding states like Illinois and Michigan. Um, so we technically have about three um, different rates that we offer right now for students uh, where it gives them an opportunity to actually come and save. So for those of you who are right across the border in Illinois, um, our out-of-state rate that you would pay yeah. is actually cheaper than your in-state rate in Illinois. Oh, I, yeah. I guess that's a big selling point right there. Absolutely. Isn't it? Absolutely. Now, what, what's your all's big, I, I meant to ask this before when you were here, what, what is one of you all's, I guess, more popular or kind of more... Yeah, I guess more popular major. I was always thinking that it would be education or business management because I know a lot of people have gotten some kind of business management stuff from uh, you all. But what is it? Business is uh, one of our biggest. It's probably fallen to like number two or three. Our number one program is nursing. Yeah. We could... have the number one nursing program in the state of Indiana. Well, the whole network of IU is very well respected in medicine. I'm talking That's about you right. going down to Bloomington, Indianapolis, IUPUI, of course. And then now with the addition of the medical school, you all are absolutely probably hitting on all cylinders right now. Absolutely. So yeah. anything in the healthcare field, everything from nursing, um, dentistry, radiography, yeah. pre-med, we actually have a medical school um, on our campus, yeah. the only one that's in the area. Um, so anything healthcare related, you can come to IU Northwest and we got you covered. Now, are there are there scholarships available, let's just say, for you know like Gary Community School students and things like that who have who are freshmen right now and, and maybe they have somebody listening on this show and they're interested in becoming a doctor and now that there's a medical school like right in their backyard are there kind of these specified type of things like hey if you're a high school student that's majoring in biology you can get put on this track and we can kind of find absolutely. your money absolutely yeah so go to our website iun.edu slash scholarships it's a list of all of our scholarships yeah uh, we have scholarships for returning adults. So yeah. If you're an adult student, you want to go back to school, we have a scholarship laid out just for you. Right. Um, so there's numerous scholarships. I always tell students don't always look for the double A's, which is academics and athletics. Right. There's other ways of getting scholarships. There's numerous opportunities out there. And through our foundation and through uh, donors, yeah. um, there's a lot of money that's out there for individuals. And my final question as we're talking about this, what about the arts program? Because I, I had an event uh, shortly after you all opened up your new arts and sciences building. Uh, I think at the time, Lauren Pacheco mm -hmm. was working over there, and we had our TEDx Gary event over there. And it's absolutely a beautiful theater. But I don't really know what goes on as far as the arts are concerned uh, You know, with IUN. Are you kind of building that up a little bit? Still growing that department. Um, but as of right now, we do have drawing. We have painting, photography. Okay. Um, communications, of course. There's a lot of areas in there, even theater. So yeah. for those individuals who are interested in theater and the performing arts, we actually have a program where you can get a degree in that at IU Northwest. Good stuff, my friend. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I want, I want to get down with that jacket. <laughs> Me too. Come on in, get you a tour, get you a 20% coupon off to the bookstore. So sign up for a tour, iun.edu slash visit. All right, my friend. Good. Until we see each other again. All right. It's been a pleasure. Thanks All right. Guys. We're going to get ready to take a break. When we come back in just a bit, we'll have a little bit more show.